Would you like to improve your English vocabulary by learning a variety of idioms and phrasal verbs? Welcome to Jen's Jugyo. My name is Jen and today I want to take a look at 12 of the most commonly used English expressions with the verb hang. Our first expression for today's lesson is hang out. This is a very, very common English expression using hang. To hang out means to spend time in a casual way, having fun, doing something. We usually use this expression to hang out with someone. So if I hang out with my friends, it means that I'm spending time together with my friends. I like to hang out at karaoke with friends. Our second expression with hang is hang in there, hang in there. This is an English expression which is used as a way of telling somebody not to give up, to keep going. You can do it! Hang in there! When I was a university student, studying for my exams became overwhelming. But my aunt told me, hang in there, it'll be okay, you can do it. Our third expression is hang on. This expression in English actually has two different meanings. And probably the most common way of using hang on is a way of telling somebody to wait, to wait for a few minutes. So if I am on the phone having an important conversation, but my husband's trying to talk to me, I might say to him, hang on, I'm on the phone. The other meaning of hang on means to grab something tightly and not let it go. So if I'm in a car and somebody says, hang on, it usually means they're going to start going faster, so I need to grab something, grasp it tightly. Hold on, hang on, Ugh. Especially with the expression hang on, meaning to grasp something tightly, we also can add for dear life. Hang on for dear life, meaning to grasp something super tightly and not let it go, as if your life depended on it. When my husband and I were on a roller coaster, he became very frightened and he hung on to my hand for dear life. Our fourth expression is to hang on to your hat. Hang on to your hat. This expression is used when you're trying to warn somebody that something exciting is about to happen. Suddenly we need to turn the corner very sharply to try and catch someone. The person who's driving might say, hang on to your hat because you're speeding and you're getting ready for some big action thing. So hang on to your hat, get ready for this great exciting thing. Expression number five is to get the hang of something. This is a great idiom, to get the hang of something. It means that you are able to finally learn all of the necessary skills that you need in order to complete certain tasks. For example, when I first started trying to edit YouTube videos, I thought that it was really difficult, but now I got the hang of it. I have learned how to edit and it has become easier. Expression number six is to hang on a few. To hang on a few very specifically means to go and drink a couple of alcoholic beverages. So if you are with your friend and you want to go to the bar and have a couple beers, you could say, hey, let's go and hang on a few at that pub over there. And if you hang on a few too many, you will actually have a very common noun in English, which is a hangover. So a hangover is a noun, and it's when you have had too much to drink, the next morning you're still feeling the effects of that alcohol. You have a headache and maybe the room is spinning and you don't like to hear loud noises. You have a hangover, or as a verb, you are hung over. Expression number seven is excellent for when you are giving somebody directions. Usually if you are in a car and you're telling the driver how to go somewhere. So the expression is to hang a and then you say the direction. So there's three specific directions we use with this. Hang a U-E, which means to make a U-turn, turn around and go the opposite direction. Hang a U-E, hang a right, or hang a left. 
So hang a right, make a right turn. Hang a left, make a left hand turn. So hang a, yui, hang a left, hang a right means to drive in that direction, to go in that direction. Oh, we missed the off ramp for the highway. We better hang a yui. Expression number eight is to hang someone out to dry. Hang someone out to dry. This idiom means that you are leaving somebody in a bad, difficult situation where they are very vulnerable, possibly where they could be punished, and you are not helping them. You're doing absolutely nothing for that person, so you're hanging them out to dry. For example, if my coworkers and I are supposed to be working on a specific project for our boss, and the project doesn't get finished, even though I personally have been working really, really hard, my coworkers have done nothing, and then my coworkers tell my boss, oh, it isn't our fault, it's Jen's fault. They are hanging me out to dry because now I'm gonna get punished for the work for the project that isn't finished yet. So to hang someone out to dry. Don't hang people out to dry. Please assist them when possible. Expression number nine is to hang your head. So to hang your head is very specifically when you put your head down like this and you look either embarrassed about something or ashamed of something. So you're hanging your head kind of like, oh, please don't look at me. Oh, I'm so embarrassed. Oh, I'm so ashamed. Oh, this is terrible. Hang your head. Don't hang your head. We're all very proud of you. He hung his head in shame after his date rejected him. Expression number 10 is to hang by a thread or hang by a hair. If you hang by a thread or hang by a hair, it means that you are very, very dangerously close to failing or dying, depending on the circumstance. The paramedics rushed her to the hospital after the accident. She was hanging by a thread meaning that she is so close to dying, she needs to get to that hospital soon. Her life is hanging by a thread. After the star player of the baseball team became injured, the team's chance at winning the championship was hanging by a hair. In this case, they're close to failing, not getting the championship. To hang by a thread or hang by a hair have the exact same meaning. Expression number 11 is to hang up your hat. This doesn't mean that you are actually putting your hat on a hook on the wall, although it could, but as an idiom, to hang up your hat means to retire, to completely stop working and no longer do your job. After years of working hard for the same company, once the man finally turned 65 years old, he decided to hang up his hat. Expression number 12 is to hang on to someone's words hang on to someone's every word or to hang on to someone's lips. These three expressions all have the exact same meaning. They mean to listen very, very carefully and very, very attentively to what someone is saying. When the prime minister walked into the room, everyone held on to his lips, meaning they're all listening and anticipating what's he gonna say next. On a first date, the man was absolutely captivated by the woman and held on to her every word. So those were 12 different expressions, all using the verb hang. Some very useful idioms and a few phrasal verbs to help you improve your English vocabulary and English fluency. And now it's time for question of the day. Today's question is, where is your favorite place to hang out? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching today's lesson. If it's difficult for you to get the hang of English, don't worry, keep studying, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any lessons and hang in there. Good luck with your English studies, everyone, and I'll see you 